What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Nate here from Out of the Basement today, bringing you a special spooky Halloween edition of Out of the Basement. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys my entire VHS horror movie collection. Uh, this is a video I've wanted to make for a while now because I like to collect horror movies uh, specifically on VHS because it just reminds me of the good old days. So let's take a trip down memory lane. Um, my collection is not the biggest. It's actually quite small, but keep in mind that I don't buy any of my VHS tapes offline. These are all stuff that is strictly found in a thrift store um, because I frankly find that paying some absurd prices on some of those VHS tapes on eBay is insane. Uh, I usually don't like to pay more than a few dollars, two or three dollars at maximum for a VHS tape. So keep that in mind while we're watching my collection video. Let's just go ahead and jump into it though. Right off the bat, a uh, sealed copy of The Ring. Of course, this is a great movie. Found this at Goodwill. Uh, sealed. Haven't opened it because I figured I would just keep it like this. I have the ring on Blu-ray if I really want to watch it, but I also do watch these. I still have a VHS player. It's in my bedroom, and I watch these, so don't think that I'm just one of those weird hipster people that collect VHS tapes because they look cool. Actually watch them. Um, next up, Day of the Dead, George A. Romero. Of course, classic movie. Found that at a Goodwill as well. Awesome find. Next up was actually uh, given to me from someone who inherited a VHS collection, so don't think that I found this in a Goodwill or anything like that, and that's Shivers from David Cronenberg, uh, nice green clamshell case. I would have to imagine, because I've, I've looked into this one on eBay, and it goes for a pretty penny, so I don't think there would be any chance of me actually finding this in a Goodwill, but that's okay. I uh, actually haven't watched this, but I like it because of the clamshell and everything. Again, another gift uh, from the same person, and that's Dead Alive. Awesome VHS tape. Awesome movie. A lot of fun. You know, Peter Jackson. Everyone knows this movie. It's great. Uh, I also think that that's a pretty rare VHS tape, too, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, next up is Nightmare on Elm Street. This is the original. Um, this is a blockbuster copy, too. Pretty awesome. I like finding blockbuster copies of stuff. It's a previously viewed copy. It's digitally remastered, so it's a newer tape. It's not the original tape, which is fine. I'm not like a purist like that. I don't try and go for the first print run of tapes. Uh, next up is a sci-fi horror movie, and that is Alien. Of course, the classic Ridley Scott film on VHS here in all of its glory. Love that movie. Absolute classic. Next up is a horror comedy spoof movie and that is Scary Movie 1 on VHS. Love this. I don't know why I keep saying on VHS. They're all on VHS. This is my VHS collection. Nate, get it together. Uh, yeah, hilarious movie. Totally funny. Uh, next up is The Exorcist 3 found this at a Goodwill. As you can see, it's in pretty rough shape. Got a big old tear in it. Big tear right there, but that's okay, because I've never seen this movie in the wild before, so I definitely had to pick it up. Next up from David Cronenberg is The Fly, with Jeff Goldblum in it. Chef Goldblum coming at you. Uh, haven't actually watched this movie. I know, big shock here. I'm sorry, but uh, I've heard great things about it. Haven't uh, actually, no. Scratch that. I don't have it on Blu-ray. Don't listen to anything that I'm saying. Have it on VHS, though. Uh, next up, let's see. We've got John Carpenter's The Thing. Excellent movie. One of the best horror movies of all time. The best horror remake of all time. Some of the best special effects in any horror movie ever. Absolutely essential to own on VHS. Love this one. It's in great shape, too. I actually watched this not too long ago and was impressed uh, that it wasn't so uh, grainy and I didn't really need to adjust the tracking or anything on that tape. So that's good. Uh, next up here is the Amityville Horror. This is the original. This is an Orion release. Is, or No, I'm sorry. This is a Good Times. Look at that Good Times right there. Hell yeah. Uh, love this movie. Absolute classic. Also kind of like the remake. Uh, 
even though it's uh, kind of bad. But hey, whatever. Uh, next up is Hellraiser. Excellent movie. Really enjoy this movie. I actually like the sequel better. I like Hellraiser 2 a lot more than the first Hellraiser. However, I've really come around on this movie. I used to not like it at all, but I like it. I find some enjoyment in it. It's fucked up, but hey, that's that's fine, I suppose. Uh, next up here is Pumpkinhead. Classic Halloween horror movie. Gotta have that. Found this at a Goodwill as well and was very surprised because you never really see Pumpkinhead anywhere. He's kind of elusive, so cool to own that tape as well. Next up is Army of Darkness, a classic movie. I've had this tape since I was very young, so that's kind of cool that I've always I've held on to this and I've kept it in good shape. Uh, th the tape itself, however, looks awful when you play it because I, ha I just played this movie to death throughout my childhood and teenage years. I actually uh, never owned this movie on DVD. I only owned it on VHS and then when I bought the Blu-ray. So anytime I used to watch Army of Darkness, pretty much until the Scream Factory version was released, I watched it on VHS tape. So this one, it's got some mileage on it, but love that tape. It's from my childhood. So uh, Next up is one of the cooler tapes, I think, in my opinion, that I have, and that is the Blockbuster Presents version of Halloween. It's got this nice Blockbuster Presents logo on the side. Actually has a Blockbuster logo on the back there. Uh, pretty common. I've seen this at a few places. Not terribly hard to find. I usually find a few copies of it uh, when I get consistent with going to Goodwill. But I haven't been VHS hunting in a very long time. Uh, Steven and I, of course, uh, from the channel, we go VHS hunting quite a bit. But we haven't in a long time. But we used to really be on it. So, again, awesome, cool copy. And then also... Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. I just recently found this. This is one of my more recent purchases, and I paid a pretty penny for it. I paid $3 for this bad boy at a uh, Half Price Books, which is, you know, pretty much a second-hand store anyway, so... But that's one of the more expensive tapes I've bought, but I couldn't pass it up just because I love the cover, love the logo of Halloween 3, and it's a good movie. Stop hating on it just because it doesn't have Michael Myers in it. It's still a lot of fun. Oh, next up, here we'll go. We'll go with Jaws here. The Look at the holographic cover right there. It looks awesome. This is a double tape, a big boy. I've also had this tape since I was little. And again, very similar scenario to Army of Darkness. I only owned Jaws on VHS until I bought it on Blu-ray uh, when the Blu-ray came out. So anytime before that, I used to watch Jaws on tape. And boy, was I shocked by the level of detail in this movie when I actually watched it on Blu-ray because I played this tape to death. Jaws is one of my favorite movies of all time. Uh, and yeah, we're running out of space here on the old desk. So let's go with two Stephen King movies right here. The first one is It the 1990 miniseries, the double tape, double decker. Just recently also found this at a Goodwill. Um, don't really like this movie, but I like the cover art. I like the tape. It's more so for the shelf. And my most recent VHS purchase right here is The Shining. Found this at a half price books. Paid $1.99 for this, but looks awesome. I like the green, the random green on top here. Great movie, honestly. Great movie. Uh, next up, we'll do these. I'll save one of my favorites, probably my favorite for last. I just love the artwork, and I love the way VHS tapes look. This one is from Hollywood Video, and that's Jeepers Creepers 1. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. This is from Blockbuster. My bad. That looks like the Hollywood Video font right there. $9.99, but on the back here, we've got a nice big old sticker from Blockbuster clearancing this bad boy out it's got a date of 8102 on it so nice very neat i think uh, i think bucky gave me this so thanks buck and uh i've got two movies right here that is the blair witch one and two the blair witch is sealed right here take a look at that own this movie it's just from some random rental store but it's sealed again someone paid ten dollars plus tax for that but yeah, you know, had to buy it sealed because can't pass that up. And then Blair Witch 2, whatever. I've never seen this movie, but um, 
I just have it. I never bought this at a Goodwill on my own. It's always just been in the VHS collection from like my dad and stuff. So I inherited it. I've never watched it. Heard it was terrible. So, and finally, my last tape here, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video if you've made it this far. And that is Sleepaway Camp. This movie scared the shit out of me when I was little. I this is my original tape from when I was younger. I don't know how I got this. I don't know why I got this, but it's from 2000. It's an Anchor Bay tape. But man, this movie really messed with me the first time I saw it. I'm not going to give anything away, but I'm pretty sure most of you watching this video know exactly the freaky stuff that goes on in this slasher. Really like this movie though. I like the sequel to the second one. I think it's pretty funny, but uh, yeah, this movie just always has had a special place in my heart just because of the childhood torment I went through seeing it. Um, but yeah, that's it, guys. That's my VHS collection. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. Do you collect VHS tapes as well? If so, I'd love to see your collection. Send me them links. I'm always down to watch a good collection video. Of course, everybody, happy Halloween. Happy October. Uh, hopefully, we're going to have some more horror movie content coming for you on this channel. Because we love Halloween, we love horror movies, and we like celebrating the season. So again, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It would mean a lot to us. I'm Nate from Out of the Basement. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.